Now, to some uh, breaking news in the past hour or so, uh, Sudan has said it will hand over the former president, Omar al-Bashir, to the International Criminal Court. Now, he's wanted for war crimes and crimes against humanity. Uh, this appears to have come about as a result of an agreement between the new government and rebel groups in Darfur. Uh, Omar al-Bashir, deposed last April, the first sitting president to be indicted by the ICC. Uh, at the moment, the ICC says it cannot confirm uh, that announcement. Let's see if we can get some clarity on this with uh, Anne Soy, who joins us from Nairobi. I mean, w we know this is for sure, do we, uh, Anne? And if so, I mean, this is a significant development. It is a huge development uh, for Sudan and for the people of Darfur. Uh, the announcement was made in the morning uh, by the spokesperson of the Transitional Military Council, uh, basically the council that is currently running uh, Sudan. Um, he was in Juba when he made that announcement, saying that he had reached that agreement and they would be uh, handing over Omar al-Bashir uh, to uh, the International Criminal Court. Now, it's been a long time coming. Um, Omar al-Bashir was indicted uh, for uh, war crimes crimes and crimes against humanity, including genocide in the Darfur, um, crimes that were committed between uh, 2003 and around 2010. Uh, there were two arrest warrants against him by the International Criminal Court issued in 2009 and 2010, but they were largely ignored. He continued to travel across Africa and the Middle East. Uh, countries that are members of the ICC did not hand him over. In, in some cases, the governments were taken to court, to their local courts in their countries, but still, until now, now, uh, there hasn't been any willingness to hand him over to the ICC, and that's why this is a major development. Uh, and when could this happen? We do not know yet. Um, at home, uh, Omar al-Bashir has already appeared uh, before court. He was convicted in December um, and uh, for, for corruption uh, at home. And so he is in government hands at the moment. So we'll wait to hear from them uh, further clarity and whether the Transitional Military Council will be, will be speaking in one voice. In the past few days, there's been controversy in the country uh, after the head of the Transitional Military Council uh, held a meeting uh, with... Um, uh, I I the Israeli leader, and that has brought a lot of um, discontent in Sudan. Uh, so it will be interesting to see whether this announcement will be backed by all members of the Transitional Council. Okay, and uh, with the very latest in Nairobi, thank you very much.